Amina was a Hausa princess born around 1533 to Queen Bakwa Tarunku in the city-state of Zazu, the Kaduna state of modern Nigeria. Beginning at an early age, Amina was immersed in politics and warfare by her mother and grandfather. At the age of 16, Amina began training with the Zazu military and was named heir apparent by her mother joining the queen's cabinet. Despite being named heir, Amina's older brother ascended the throne and began launching military campaigns to expand the empire. Amina fought with the cavalry in all of her brother's major battles. As a result of gaining the respect of the Zazu soldiers and kinmakers, Amina was selected to ascend the throne when her brother died in 1576. With 20,000 soldiers and 1,000 cavalry under her command, Amina continuously waged war during her reign to expand the boundaries of Zazu. Continuing to grow the kingdom allowed traders to travel more extensively while remaining unmolested, which allowed Amina and her subjects to gain greater wealth. Zazu traded and received tributes in the form of gold, kola nuts, and eunuchs, which some areas also participating in the Arab slave trade. Given her wealth, Amina was courted by many suitors but never married or had children. During her 34-year reign, she substantially grew Zazu's size and wealth and erected fortified walls around its cities and military camps. These walls continued to be erected and remained in use until the British began campaigns in 1904, though some of them still exist. The exact details of Queen Amina's death have been lost to history, but it's believed that she died in battle at Adagar, near present-day Bida, Nigeria. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the thumbs up button and share it online. I hope you'll also subscribe and return for future episodes to get motivated, get inspired, and get stories of black history made and in the making. Until next time, take care.